I get 50% less swelling of the cuticle, making it a little bit more gentle altogether. We had some questions that came up on our toning options for the Schwarzkopf Professional brand as to maybe why would I choose an alkaline toner versus a demi versus a semi versus temporary. When you think about the hair structure, when you use a permanent hair color or a hair color that's alkaline, it will swell the cuticle open to allow the pigments to go in a little bit further than let's say a semi-permanent which lives on the surface of the hair. So a toner that has alkalinity will swell the cuticle a little bit to allow the pigment to go in. Now if the hair is in a really healthy state and you take care of it afterwards, this could potentially mean that you have just a little bit more longevity than something that sits just at the surface. So I just want to recap really quick. Our two permanent hair color options for toning include Agora Royal, which is part of our core Agora Royal uh, family. Uh, and these toners are all denoted by a 9.5, just like the rest of the Agora brand. You mix them equal parts with 10 volume, you'll get toning, but also don't forget some potential shifting. Then we have our TBH brand, also a permanent hair color brand, uh, but with 50% less ammonia, meaning I get 50% less swelling of the cuticle, making it a little bit more gentle altogether. Working down the line, our Agora Vibrance is an alkaline hair color, but it uses MEA instead of ammonia, making it altogether a little bit more gentle. So I am getting a little bit of swelling of the cuticle, but just not as much as you would a permanent hair color. So this is really great as a brand for a little bit more longevity, but I'm still getting the shine and all the things that I need from a toner. Now jumping down the pH scale, we've got our Blonde Me toners. These come in both deep and pastel. They are pH neutral, meaning I'm going to get very minimal swelling of the cuticle at all, which also means that these are gonna live closer to the surface, lasting you about 10 to 15 shampoos, depending on how often you wash. And then lastly, we have our Chroma ID, which is categorically a semi-permanent, but because it's out of the pump, onto the hair, or into the bowl, uh, this is categorically a semi-permanent, but it's direct usage. You do not mix Chroma ID with any developer, and you'll get, depending on how often you shampoo and the integrity of your hair, anywhere from like, I'd say five to 15 shampoos, depending on porosity and whatnot. So you've got options for toners from anywhere from alkaline all the way down to pH neutral and acidic, which would be our Chroma ID. Hope that helps you understand why you would choose a, a certain toner over what, depending on what your client needs and what the, what the hair, uh, hair health is like at that point. We have tons of tools for you to be able to use. Hope that helps.